What's up guys, it's Killer Cobra 110 and we are here with another video. This time what we are gonna talk about is Saints Row. Now you probably now you probably already guessed that I'm playing Saints Row 1. Probably wondering why am I playing such an old game? Because it's the first game of the series and why am I creating this? Well, you can probably already tell by the name of this video. I'm gonna talk about this game, well this series in general being called a GTA clone. A Grand Theft Auto clone. Alright, now, I played Saints Row 1 before GTA San Andreas. I understand that GTA San Andreas came out before Saints Row 1, though. When I played GTA San Andreas, I found a lot of things that on Saints Row 1 was similar to it. Does that mean it's a GTA clone? No. It... it listen. Alright, listen. People say that Saints Row 1 and Saints Row 2 were GTA clones. Now, but... In, and then they say Saints Row became its own game when it had when it made Saints Row 3 and 4. No, it was already its own game. Copying GTA is doing this, making the exact same story, the exact same concept, almost the exact same characters. Exact same well I mean or right, listen. GTA San Andreas was based in the city Los Santos, based off of real life city Los Angeles. Saints Row 1 and 2 are based are in based in the city Stillwater, based off real life cities Chicago and Detroit. They're based on the Chicago and Detroit, like kind of combined together. So, and, and then they have completely different characters and a completely different story. Trust me, I played both of them. I have. Now when I made this video, I'm not here to be a Saints Row fanboy or, or nothing. I'm just calling out all the GTA fanboys out there. Because it's ridiculous how so many games get called GTA clones. Why are they called GTA clones? There were many games that came out before Grand Theft Auto. And I'm talking about some games even before the very first Grand Theft Auto. Which came out in 1988. Some games similar to Grand Theft Auto came out before that. And we'll get to that later. But what I'm saying now is that this game, this game, this alright, listen. Some people even still say the series itself is still called a GTA clone. They still say Saints Row 3 and 4 are GTA clones. Yep, you're right. They have big brutes in GTA 5 and aliens in GTA 5. Those aliens that you see in GTA 5 are DLCs, and, I mean, not DLCs, what am I saying? Easter eggs, and, alright, listen, when you saw them in the main story, Michael was high. And, when you saw them under that ocean, Easter egg. Listen, they don't have, they don't have big brutes in GTA 5. They don't have aliens in GTA 5. Listen, they don't have aliens that come and invade the Earth while, let's say, Franklin. Because Franklin's a game banger. You know, he, he was in the game, the Chamberlain Family's game. Dro Gross, Free Families, whatever you want to say. He was in the game. So since he's a game banger and the boss in St. Charles is a game banger, let's say, so, okay, so, by that logic, let's say this. Like, Franklin became president of the United States. Aliens invaded the Earth, abducted Franklin, all his friends. Franklin escaped with the help of I, I don't know, Tanisha, whoever, I don't care. Um, saved all of his friends, but then Earth got blown up, and now he's gonna avenge the Earth. And then he meet, and then people of his past that he killed before come back from the dead because of this alien leader, and then he has to kill them again. And and then Franklin finally encounters the alien leader, rips his head off. And he is now Emperor of the Universe. That sound like GTA to you? Does that really sound like GTA to you? D does it? I mean, really. D does that really sound like GTA to you right there? No, it doesn't. Because it's not GTA. People still call Saints Row 4 a GTA clone. I don't even know how that's related. Forget it. I don't even know how that's possible. How is that possible? It's still called Saints Row 3 and 4 GTA clones. 
I mean, I just, I just don't get it anymore. I really don't. So many people say that G say that Centro is a GTA clone, and they what really irritates me is the fact that they say it became its own game when GTA. I mean, it became its own game when they made Saints Row 3 and 4. It was already its own game. Saints Row 2 is nothing like GTA. Some people want to compare Saints Row 2 to GTA 4. Are you kidding me? GTA 4 barely has anything. I mean, really, they only have a few clothes that suck anyway. They barely have any custom... They don't have any customization. They don't, the only thing that comes close to customization is that pay and spray thing. And that's about it. And, and then you got Saints Row 2, which you can customize your clothes, your houses, your cars, everything. Your, everything. You can customize pretty much everything. So what I'm saying here is that Saints Row was never a GTA clone. Let me tell you when Saints Row 1 was developed. Well, in development. Okay. I'm going to read this. This is all Wikia, but you know what? Forget it. Saints Row Wikia. After completing Red Faction 2, in late 2002, developer Felician began the, began work on the original Saints Row game in mid-2013. 2003. What am I saying? In mid-2003. Okay. It began, de it began development in mid-2003. So, alright, it says that in, it says in late 2002, he began Began development in mid 2003. So what I'm guessing here is that it's what I'm guessing is trying to say here is that he had came up with the idea of Saints Row in 2002, and then but then didn't start developing it until 2003. Now I've searched and it doesn't say when GTA San Andreas was developed, but it does say that GTA San Andreas was released. 2004 for the PS2, so I'm not too sure if Saints Row was the was in development before GTA San Andreas. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you a little secret. All right. Um, if you guys didn't already know, Saint the listen the Saints original game color was was supposed to be green. Yes, the main game, the Third Street Saints original game color was supposed to be green. Now you're probably wondering, well, why didn't they make them green? They would have looked more awesome. Let me tell you why. They would have, because they didn't want to copy GTA San Andreas. I read it. They didn't want to copy GTA San Andreas because GTA San Andreas came out before GTA, I mean, oh my gosh, came out before Saints Row 1. Came out PS2. It came out for PS2 in 2004 and came out for Xbox 360 and I mean, gosh, Xbox and I don't know other stuff in 2005. Saints Row 1 came out in 2006. So, like they, like I said, they didn't make them green because they didn't want to copy GTA San Andreas. So, see, they tried to avoid being called a GTA ripoff. It's not even a ripoff. It's not a GTA ripoff or anything. I don't think you can do this in GTA San Andreas. And believe me, I have tried. Like, yeah, they put your hands up, but... Hey, listen. They put... Yeah. Alright, in GTA San Andreas, if I walk into a store and I aim my gun at the shopkeeper, they'll hold... They'll put their hands up. But you know what they'll do? Absolutely nothing. They'll just stay there with their hands up. They won't give you any money. You can't walk them to the safe or anything. No, they'll just stay there with their hands up. Shoot. Even if you shoot the cash register... I mean, tr trust me, I shot the cash register in GTA San Andreas before to find out. You, you don't get any money out of it. Saints Row? Oh, look at that. Then there's that theft activity that you can do at midnight. And since it's not midnight, I can't do that right now. But at midnight, at midnight all the stores close. All the stores close. And you can break into them at midnight and, op and, start the and you can go to the safe. Press Y to start the death activity, and then there you go. Open the safe and take the take the goods and bring them to the pawn shop. Any Saints Row fan or anybody who's played Saints Row would know that, unless they never tried to go in the store at night, which I don't know why you wouldn't do. I mean, it's Saints Row, but you know who? Oh well. But listen, 
the story of Saints Row is different. The games are different. The game wars, listen, the game wars really, I mean, come on. They're still different from GTA San Andreas. Like, alright, um, let me see. Who is that? Oh, yeah. Grove Street Family's game. Their rivalry was with the Ballers, right? The Saints don't really have a rivalry with any game. Like, they just want control. They don't they don't really have any rivalries with any game. Probably the Vice games, but I doubt it. Like, I mean, but then again, the Rollers killed Lynn. Then again, there's the Los Cardinelli's that ruined their um deal with Manuel. So who knows? They don't really have a rivalry with anybody. They have a rivalry with all of them. And the gang is still different. It, two words. Two words. Alright, now I'll get back to what I've seen before. I'm so rudely interrupted. Two words. Character customization. Character customization. That is the major thing that makes Saints Row different from GTA. Name one GTA besides GTA Online where you can customize your character. Exactly. And GTA Online is part of GTA 5 too. So, yeah. Like main story, main story in GTA Online, you, can, you can't customize your own character. There have been no GTAs where you can customize your own character. Like, I was surprised about GTA Online because it was the first GTA I played where you can customize your own character. But that's not even the main game. That's just online. Saints Row, all games, you've always been able to customize your own character. You can customize your own freaking character. And, yeah, like GTA San Andreas, you can go and recruit homies. You can go and recruit them, but still... And you could you could tell that they didn't want to make it on um, the same as GTA San Andreas. Like I already said, they didn't make the game color green because they didn't want to copy GTA San Andreas. You see, I've seen so many people, I've seen so many people call Saints Row One and Two GTA ripoffs. They like, oh, this game is just a rip off of GTA. They, I remember a few years ago I read a comment that it was like they said. Saints Row was a gay game and they should have never made it. It's a ripoff of GTA and isn't fun at all. It's not a ripoff, dude. It never was a ripoff. Now, um, alright, GTA San Andreas, again. I, alright, the activities in GTA San Andreas, there are not nearly as much as there are in Saints Row. Not in any Saints Row game, not Saints Row 1, 2, 3, or 4. The activities are much more fun, much more chaotic, and just different in general. Like, yeah, they have races too, but that's about it. They have tagging too, but it really doesn't matter. Listen, in GTA San Andreas, when you do the break-in activity, I forgot I still had them as a homie. Listen, when you do, I, I don't know what it's called, like when you were able to break into houses, you can break into any house. Saints Row, you can only just break into stores. See, when you copy it, when you copy a GTA game, that means you have the exact. When you copy any game, that means you have the exact same thing as that game, and that's it. Like, like when you copy a game, you have the exact same thing. That game, so Saints Row to be copying GTA would mean Saints Row has the exact same thing as GTA San Andreas. Saints Row One has the exact same thing as GTA San Andreas, and there's absolutely nothing different between the two. Now, some people might say that. Some people might say that there's absolutely nothing different between the two. But how wrong is that? There's everything different between the two. I don't think you can crack safes in, in GTA San Andreas. Or any GTA for that matter. You know, people compare Saints Row 2 to GTA 4 and Saints Row 3. Oh, by the way, let me tell you something. People compare Saints Row 4 to GTA 5. Why? Let me tell you why. Because they still call they still call Saints Row 4 a GTA ripoff. How is it a GTA ripoff or a GTA clone? It's still considered a GTA clone. I mean, I can kind of see a little bit why Saints Row 1 and 2 would be considered a GTA clone. Well, actually, just Saints Row 1, 
not even two, just Saints Row 1. I can kind of see why they would be considered a GTA clone. Even though they aren't, I can kind of see why. But Saints Row 4? Saints Row 3? Are you serious? Saints Row 3. I mean, for real, dog. Like, the fighting is different, the combos is different, the shooting is different, the guns are different, everything is different. Uh, everything about Saints Row to GTA is different. Do you really need to stop comparing games? I, I, I heard, alright, I read on one of the lists, they even compare Spider-Man 2 to GTA. Okay, guys, come on, this is just getting out of hand. I mean, I like, G I like GTA 2, but listen, let me tell you something. Not every freaking game that's open world is a ripoff of GTA, okay? Not every single game in the universe that's open world is a ripoff of GTA. People really need to stop with this. They really do. And in fact, that's not that's not the rest of it either. Because right now, I'm about to show you a video. Now, before I show this video, I will say that I have absolutely no rights to this video. I did not make this video. Um, It was by a YouTuber named Flippy. He owns the video, not me. And um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys to show that, to show you that video. Okay, guys, here's the video made by Flippy ranting about GTA clones again. Before I start the video, I have no rights to the video. I do not own the video in any way, and I'm not claiming anything to the video. Now let's just, now let's just get started. And I hope this is a history lesson. A video game history lesson to any of you GTA fanboys who believe that almost every open world game is a GTA ripoff. Sorry, guys. still calling games Grand Theft Auto clones. In fact, why did we ever start calling games Grand Theft Auto clones to begin with? We don't call Call of Duty a Medal of Honor clone, even though Medal of Honor was the first war FPS. We don't call Perfect Dark a Half-Life clone, even though many of the themes are exactly the same. Or Silent Hill a Resident Evil clone. Why does Grand Theft Auto get the special honor of being this extremely unique game that no one must get close to? I mean, it's not like Grand Theft Auto 3's gameplay was completely unique. Driver 2 is a semi-open world free roam crime game that came out before GTA 3. In the game you can walk around a city, hijack a car, or commit Grand Theft Auto. The missions are linear, but the core formula for everything is here. 3D open world, city setting, crime game. Any game that follows this formula is labeled as a Grand Theft Auto clone, yet the formula existed before GTA. When I first saw Grand Theft Auto 3, the first thing I thought of was, wow, this is just like Driver 2. Minus the killing and massacres, if you really want to go back, the 1996 title Die Hard with a Vengeance had some pretty violent gameplay, which of course also takes place in a city. So yes, even before the top-down GTA games, we had a 3D GTA-style game in the rough. But if you still want to say the concept for open-world games in general started with Grand Theft Auto 1, here's a list of games that started it even before that. Grand Theft Auto 3 is a well-designed game, but it's not as groundbreaking as people think. It took ideas that were already present and put its own spin on it. Okay, so now that we acknowledge this, we can now conclude that calling games Grand Theft Auto clones is fucking stupid. So where the hell does the whole GTA clone critique even begin? The earliest documented report of it being used in game journalism comes from the IGN article, The Bastard Children of GTA. 
The article gives a mini-review of open-world games and compares them to Grand Theft Auto. Included in the list is Mafia, which was actually in production since before Grand Theft Auto 2, so that definitely shouldn't be here. But also included in the list are Spider-Man 2 and Jack 2. Spider-Man 2 and Jack 2? Really? We're gonna compare Grand Theft Auto to Spider-Man 2- Let's go both- Fuck off, Roman! We're gonna compare Spider-Man 2 and Jack 2 to Grand Theft Auto? That's how stupid, insane, and fanboyish the term GTA clone is. Any game with an open world setting was criticized for being a GTA clone. I've played many so-called Grand Theft Auto clones, and they don't feel like GTA to me. Yeah, they all look the same, but they don't play the same, and that's what matters. At face value, many games can seem like clones of each other, but we need to criticize games on the experience they give us, not by their cover. So if you want to criticize an open world game like True Crime for being a massive piece of shit, that's fine, but don't call it a GTA clone because it has nothing to do with Grand Theft Auto. Hell, even if you want to criticize a game for lacking innovation and following a certain formula too closely, I still haven't seen a game that follows GTA close enough to be labeled as a clone. The clone critique isn't new with Grand Theft Auto. Before that, everyone called first-person shooters Doom clones. The Doom clone critique was just as flawed because there existed FPS gameplay before Doom. As the years went on, the term died out, and I think it's about time the term GTA clone die out as well. Well, okay, guys. So that was pretty much the end of the video. So that pretty much sums it all sums it all up. There have been many games before GTA that have that have had the GTA concept. There have been many games before some some GTAs like GTA 3 and stuff like that, and GTA 2, you know, stuff like that before it had before went before that were made before GTA, and they had the GTA concept. Point is, not nothing is a GTA clone. Nobody is copying GTA. No game is copying GTA, especially Saints Row. I've just seen this so much with Saints Row. Even Watch Dogs was called a GTA clone, and it's just ridiculous. Anyways, again, I have no rights to that video. Flippy, Flippy is the owner of the video. Flippy, he's the owner. Not me. Not Killer Cobra Woman Zero. No, Flippy. So, anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed or found this information educational. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out.